In a world filled with distractions, maintaining focus can seem like a very difficult task, right? But with the right strategies and protocols, I believe that you can get better concentration, eliminate all distractions, and make significant progress towards your goals. Let's dive in. Understanding the importance of focus is the first thing we need to talk about because you obviously know that focus is your ability to concentrate on a task without being distracted. Yet, you still don't use it a lot. A lot of people don't give their full attention to what they're doing. You might think you're doing work, but you're focused on that notification you got, or thinking about what you might eat after you've done this work, or thinking that what you might do after you've done this work. You're thinking about things either before the work or after the work. You're hardly ever actually focused on fully on the work, if you're the average person, that is. Without focus, even the most straightforward tasks can become very daunting and your goals seem out of reach. So we need to identify common distractions. These can include digital distractions, like social media, like the notifications, like the emails, whatever, all of that, right? That comes from your phones or your screens. Then you got environmental distractions, which is your parents making a lot of noise or they're literally being construction outside or something like that. People interrupting you to talk to you, which breaks your concentration. Then you have internal distractions. Again, the tiredness, the stress, the lack of motivation, stuff like that. Now, let's talk about then the strategies to en enhance this focus. You need to create a distraction-free environment when you're doing your work. What does that mean? You have to organize your workspace. Keep your workspace clean and clutter-free. This makes it easier for you to go and do your work. If right now my desk was filled with a bunch of garbage, I would have to clean it all up before I could start recording videos. But because it's already clean and ready for me, I, it's a lot easier for your brain to go and start doing the work because it doesn't have to do smaller, annoying tasks before, before you know you actually start to work. Then it's important to limit noise. Use noise canceling headphones if you cannot get rid of the noise that's going on outside or just work on focusing really hard on the work because I've noticed that even when there are is noise going around me it doesn't actually often matter anymore even if I'm not wearing any uh, headphones because I'm just so focused on the work that like my unconscious kind of blocks out the sound around me so try to work towards that but again if you're not there yet just use noise canceling headphones or something or close your door or you know try and do all of those things next you need to set boundaries. You need to inform others of your work hours and request to not be disturbed, all right? So let's say you wanna go, you're a YouTuber like me, and you wanna go write some scripts. You do not wanna be interrupted when, when you're writing it, right? So you close your door, but before you do that, you ask, you say, tell your parents like, I don't know, I'm gonna take like an hour, two hours here, to, I'm gonna do some important work. Can you please not come distract me? And then if there's anything you need me to do right now, you know, in the house, I'll do it all right now and then I'll get to my work, you know? Something like that, for example, right? So they don't distract you while you're doing the work so you can maintain full focus. You need to manage your digital distractions. The first and most important thing is you need to turn off notifications. Anyone who has notifications still on on their phone I'm telling you, bro, just turn it off, please. Like, it is so stupid. Not even just for your work, but just overall. Because when you're, like, talking to people and you get randomly notifications and you start looking at your phone when you're literally supposed to be talking to someone, very disrespectful. When you're doing work and then you get distracted by a notification, you go pick up your phone, you're disrespecting yourself. You're disrespecting your work. You need to be doing what you're doing. That sounds stupid, but it's honestly the truth. Because when you're doing work and you say, okay, I'm gonna take an hour right now and I'm gonna write scripts. That you should literally not be doing anything else other than writing scripts in that hour. Not checking your phone once. Even if you say, oh, but it's only for you know five seconds to read their notification. There was like this study or something. I don't even remember really, but you can uh, look it up yourself as well. There was like, like 15 seconds of 
um, losing your like kind of focus on something like checking a fi like 15 seconds checking a notification will literally lower your focus for the next like 20 minutes after that after you've already put it away you're still not going to be at full power for like 20 minutes you're just taking away your brain power which is what you need in these tasks then I would also recommend scheduling your social media time like allocating specific times during the day that you're going to check your notifications and your messages and your whatever if you do need to check it but just have it somewhere where it's not around your work schedule then you need to practice time management prioritize tasks that identify you that you've identified that are most important right Tackle the, first, the most important tasks first when your energy and focus levels are the highest, right? So how do you develop concentration? You need to practice deep work. You need to make blocks of time, like we talked about, for deep work, which is a single task with no interruptions. And you just do this every single day. Every single day, an hour, two hours, however, if you, if you can do more and better, but... If you can do an hour, still like an hour a day, that's seven hours of deep work a week. That's very, very productive compared to zero. Stay present. Focus on one task at a time and avoid multitasking at all costs. Now, it's also important to maintain physical and mental well-being. You need to ensure that you're well rested and getting enough sleep to maintain your levels of concentration. You need to be exercising regularly because physical activity boosts your energy levels and improves your focus even more. You need to be taking breaks. Regular breaks can prevent burnout and keep your mind fresh. Now, these breaks should not be during the block of work but rather between the blocks of work so let's say you have a deep work block at i don't know 8 a.m then from 8 a.m to 9 a.m which is the one hour block no distractions no breaks straight up you do it then let's say you take i don't know three hours off you're doing your you know physical workout or eating and all that whatever and then again at let's say you know i don't know 12 then 12 to 1 12 to 1 again you're going fully work not focused on anything else other than work the power of your focus lies in your ability to just eliminate distractions when you realize that distractions are actually the only thing limiting your focus and it's not just your terrible attention span then you're going to be able to work a lot harder when you eliminate those distractions don't stop when you're tired stop when you're done peace